Star Wars. It's it's just kind of the best franchise out there, in my opinion. Um, it doesn't have I consistent think it... quality, but like the universe is so large that it's just really cool. Um. Yeah, I guess that's true, but I feel as though it's sort of become so big that it no longer has the feel to it once did. If you know what I yeah. mean? It's the I feel like there's. It... Go ahead. I feel like I feel as though it's much like any piece of entertainment, like ever. It's just being milked for money. Because oh yeah. You know... But so I'm gonna say. A controversial kind, maybe opinion here. I don't care that it's been milked for money. I think there's an appeal to franchises that are just infinite and will go on forever. Do you understand that? Like I maybe, do. Uh, most people disagree. There's definitely most stories should have endings, but say yes. Star mm. Wars. Doctor Who, I don't know if I can name a third one, but some Marvel, that's a good one. That could just go on forever, and I'm fine if they do. I, I'm, I'm, I, I, I can understand the Doctor Who thing because he's sort of immortal and really can't die. I mean, he can, but it takes a lot to kill him. Yeah. The lore, the, crap, what was I going to say? Oh, the Star Wars one, I feel as though the story was already told. The important story, at least, what it was all about, which was episode oh, yeah. one through six, was already told. The yeah, story of was. Star Wars, which is, in my opinion, the only story of Star Wars in the sequels don't exist. As they completely ruined everything. And broke my little heart. <laughs> and what was the other series you said? I said Marvel. See, and I over the last, see. like falls under the same umbrella. The last uh, few years, after Endgame and Infinity War came out, you can you can tell that Marvel has come with a few good films, but you can see it sort of dying out. Mm -hmm. It's losing its yeah. magic, which, honestly, I'm somewhat all for. Superhero movies were cool, but after a while, they just get they just get recycled over and over again. It just, it just gets kind of boring. So. Yeah. I can see that. So I, I, I'm, DC had a, didn't really have too many good movies. And it had a yeah, few, it, like, I mean, not necessarily part of the DCEU. The DCEU is not the greatest, but, like, the Dark Knight series was awesome. And yeah, their entire the, cinematic was, universe was ruined in its first phase. They screwed up yeah. very bad. They did. And it was, it was tragic to watch. Because DC, I, I honestly prefer more DC characters over Marvel characters. I just like the darker universe of DC. But, you know, that's just me. No, I understand that. I do... Jumping back in to Star Wars, you said that, yeah, the main story was 1 through 6. But at the same time, I think there are more stories in the universe that that can be told. Like, people have been... People have been liking stories from after episode 6 and before episode 1 for so long. Mm hmm I think there's room, even if the core of it's still there. I guess so. Yeah. I just, I just can't take over the fact that Rey somehow became a Skywalker. That just makes me angry. Yeah, there's... Who are you? I'm Ray, Ray Skywalker. Yeah, obviously it has its ups and downs. There are some bad Star Wars movies. Uh, yeah, the sequels. <laughs> mm -hmm. The prequels are alright, except for one. But... Episode one sucks, yeah. Episode two, I, 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 just, I think, has its moments, but yet again, it's still not amazing. It's half turn your brain off action and half the cringiest funniest stuff 
effect in the in the movies. So like the love story episode. part. The love oh, story so part bad. is making me laugh. When I'm around you, it's like I can't breathe. <laughs> Heck, you know, when, whenever I go on a date, I'm gonna say that oh to a girl, goodness. girl I'm dating, <laughs> exactly the way he said it in the movie. If they don't understand the reference, that's gonna be the last date you'll ever have. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, You've grown too. You've grown yeah, more beautiful. I I'm think. also. I'm also. <laughs> I'm also going to talk about how much I hate sand too. Yeah. That's that sounds like a great. Movie. Where did George Lucas come up with these? I don't know. He just he just does. I like how the prequels fans defend them, saying it's supposed to be awkward. Yeah. Because that's how real life works. But the thing is, is I'm yeah. going to see a movie to escape real life, especially a movie like Star Wars. And that's not even yeah. natural dialogue, is that? That's not awkward flirting. <laughs> that's just weird. It's just, that's it's just, just awkward. weird, creepy dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Uh, makes me Would laugh. you say that Empire Strikes Back is your favorite, or do you prefer another movie? Empire Strikes Back is my favorite Star Wars movie. Same here. Has been since the first time I saw it. Well, no. Caleb okay. said, sorry, my yes. brother disagrees. For a second, I liked episode six over it, but I changed my mind. You see, the thing about episode six is it's really good as well. It's just that oh yeah, there's just moments in it that just don't compare to what Empire had to offer, which really is one of the greatest movies of all time, in my opinion. Yeah. Oh yeah, Star Wars started Not off with a with an absolute bang. But should we move on? Yes, we should move. All on. right. 